totally obsessed with it. Totally obsessed with it. Totally obsessed with it. talk to you about what's on my iPhone because I also found this tag among some other bloggers and among YouTube channels and I found it really really sympathetic and really cute and lovely and so I decided to make one as well so this is my phone and it's an iPhone 5 in white color um, and it's got a light pink case with shimmers inside it's really really cute but um, soon I'm about to change it because I've already ordered one from Victoria's Secret it's really nice like it has white and pink stripes and Victoria's Secret sign right over here but I love it you know because before I mean with my old iPhone it was iPhone 5 as well yes um, I just kept dropping it, you know, because it's so thin and so delicate and a little, like, I don't know, it, it will just slide out of your hand. I mean, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And I was usually, like, the one with, I don't know, glasses in my hand and, um, I don't know, some makeup, some lip balm or something. Um, then I hit my car keys and my phone and I would just, you know, start dropping everything and one thing I will definitely drop on the floor is most iPhones. So when I bought this new one, and I, I just couldn't have the old one anymore because it really bothered me. They just like scratched, you know, and bobbed a little. And it was, I felt so bad about it, you know. It was so pricey and I really loved it. And it's not like I didn't care about it, but it looked like I didn't, you know. And obviously I didn't care enough. So when I bought this new one, um, and I sold it, you know, I sold the old one for a uh, quite cool amount, so I bought the new one, and with the new one, I got this case, and I said I am never getting it off, so, and I never did. My lock screen looks like this, it's yellow, can you see it? And the coolest thing about it is, it has tiny bubbles, and they actually move, they float around the screen when you move, when you move your phone, you know, it's really cool. And when I unlock it, you know, and it has pink bubbles that will float around when you will move your phone. It's really cool. Um, okay, so let's start with um, my apps. The first one is Messages, um, because I use it the most, I guess. And second is Calendar, which I also use quite a lot because, you know, for different appointments and so. Then I have Photos and Camera, which obviously I use all the time. You know, have to make the selfies and, you know, use the Instagram and so on. Um, then I have the Maps. I use the Maps app quite often. I mean, I have the, the Garmin, you know, um, Street Navigator in my car, but it will usually ditch me, like, in the most important parts of the road and, you know, the screen will just freeze and I'll be like, oh my god, there's still 20 minutes to get there. And after half an hour, oh my god, it's still 20 minutes together. Strange, yeah. So um, in those moments, you know, iPhone really saves me with the Maps app. Then the weather app, I use it quite often and I've got saved my favorite places. So I can always check, you know, before going anywhere, what kind of weather there will be. Um, then I've got the notes, which I also use a lot for some songs, for some shopping lists and stuff like that. Then I got the utilities and I use the clock obviously for the alarm and stopwatch when I'm doing my workouts. Then cake calculator and compass, I don't really use that much because I've got another cake calculator here so um, I really don't use it. Voice my mouse I do use for recording some of my own songs. Um, then YouTube, iTunes store, not really that much. App store of course when I need a new app, settings, whenever it comes useful. Instagram 24-7, Tumblr not so much, um, then contacts every once in a while, Twitter every once in a while, um, it will probably be um, more often now because I'm gonna sync my um, my website and my YouTube channel with Twitter mostly, you know, so on Twitter you can, you know, see all the updates on my YouTube channel and 
when the new videos are coming, stuff like that. And I'm gonna be telling you guys that on Twitter, I use Pinterest a lot, um, Facebook, of course, a group shark remote. It's actually a remote for groovetrack.com and it's a program when you actually will listen to your favorite music and when you just, I don't know, I love to listen to the music when I go to sleep and during the night. I mean, of course, I don't listen to it because I'm sleeping, um, but before I fall asleep, it really calms me down, you know, to listen to my favorite music, like some head candy series and stuff. And, you know, I just use the remote to shut it down or, you know, to change the volume or hit the next song and stuff like that. Then I use the Rehard It app a lot and I'm back to games, dots and two dots. Dots was like recently my favorite game, you know, it's the one you have to, you know, just connect, connect the dots of the same color um, between themselves in order to, you know, win the game to get some points and now they've come up with a new game to dots which i downloaded like a few days ago and i'm totally obsessed with it because you actually help two little dots cross the i don't know the ocean then cross the ice level then the, cross the lava level and stuff like that and it's really amusing because it gives you um, a goal at the end of each stage and you have to complete that goal in order to you know progress and you also you know get a certain amount of points and when you run out of lives you have to wait or you buy some lives but i don't really want to buy them because who who really buys stuff in games um but yeah it's really amusing and you know you've got to think you know it's not really a, some silly game you really have to you know get inside and think a little then i've got facetime which i never use and you stand also um, reminders, I don't use them. Um, I have some apps here that I don't use that much. I do use the Kickstarter app, you know, just to check on some new cool projects or some new gadgets or stuff like that. And I am Michelin. I use sometimes, you know, just to calculate like some road taxes or some road costs, you know, when I'm doing the road trips and stuff. LinkedIn, yeah, maybe sometimes. I sometimes use these apps for picture collages or some extra filters or bokeh for Instagram, but I don't really use them that much. And bridge.co for also, you know, to check out on some new stuff or tutorials to DIY some cool things. And that's it. I really oh, and Sudoku. I, um, I recently downloaded it, but I wasn't too happy about it. I think I'm gonna delete it because I was always quite good at Sudoku. I was usually, you know, getting myself those booklets and, you know, just, you know, aiming and calculating it. Um, but this one just has the easy level and you have to buy the medium and the hard level. And obviously I'm not gonna do this, so I'm probably just gonna delete it. And that's all right. Well, I just have, you know, three slides of applications on my phone. But I think it's enough. I really, I don't think I'm missing out on anything. I, I'm pretty much, I don't have time even now for all of them. So, and here, um, I have obviously the phone, then the Gmail, and because I'm never checking my mail on the default iPhone mail, I love Gmail much more. Then I've got Chrome also because I like Chrome obviously much more than Safari, and Hangouts, which I use quite frequently, it's the app for the Google Chrome and I have it on my computer and now I also downloaded it for iPhone. Well, that's it for my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, please comment down below which are your favorite apps, uh, which of my apps you like, which of my apps you dislike or what else should I definitely download in the next week, which are your favorite apps. And also, if you want to keep track of my future videos, I recommend you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because it would mean a whole lot to me, really. I can't tell you how much this means to me uh, because I am doing this for you. I am recording this for you guys and I would, you know, love to meet all of you and just, you know, chat with you about beauty stuff and fashion stuff and so on, yeah.